What's going on, everybody? I'm Jay Couture, your news and entertainment correspondent, and welcome back to another episode of On the TL, where we talk about the latest on your timelines right here on the Reese Radio YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed so you never miss out on the latest in news and more. First up, we're talking about rapper Eminem, who is sticking by his nickname, The Real Slim Shady. On February 14th, he filed an opposition against Real Housewives of Potomac stars Giselle Bryant and Robin Dixon's trademark application for their podcast podcast reasonably shady. Eminem believes his brain will be damaged and can cause consumer confusion if the reality stars are issued the trademark. It's been said that he had exclusively used the name Slim Shady and Shady for entertainment services since 1998 and owns the trademark for Shady to use on merch. And it seems that Giselle and Robin filed to trademark their podcast so they too can start selling merch. The reality stars are fighting back against Eminem's opposition and asking for it to be denied. Their attorney told Page Six exclusively that Robin Dixon and Giselle Bryant deny any likelihood of confusion between the two trademarks and that they are prepared to defend any allegations. Now, a lot of people are rooting for Eminem <laughs> on this case because um, if you watch Potomac, People are not a fan of Robin and Giselle, AKA the green eye bandits, okay? <laughs> you have to be a Potomac watcher to understand that. But others feel that Eminem is reaching when it comes to this and that there's no correlation between the two trademarks. But apparently Eminem's daughter, um, Haley Jade, has a podcast called Just A Little Shady. And I think that's where the trademark issue is coming in at. I haven't listened to either podcast, but it seems as if both are centered around the same topics of pop culture, um, current events, lifestyle with, you know, getting a little shady in the mix. According to New York Post, Haley has big plans for her podcast to start an entertainment company and sell merch. This could be where the correlation is coming in at. And in my opinion, business is business. If he has the word shady trademark, then he can do whatever he wanna do. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Is Eminem being shady towards Giselle Bryan and Robin Dixon? All this shade. Next up, we're talking about Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's oldest daughter, Northwest, who is a TikTok star, okay? She recently went viral for her video impersonating breakout rapper Ice Spice. As you can tell from this video, North is wearing a orange curly wig similar to Ice Spice signature natural hairstyle with a white Juicy Couture sweatsuit and a chain around her neck. And she's mouthing the lyrics to Ice Spice verse on um, Songboy's A Liar Part 2. And of course, this had the timelines talking. Some thought that North is having fun, you know, just being a kid and others say it was inappropriate for her age due to the lyrics of the song. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the video, I died. <laughs> like, I was laughing because she really is like, first of all, she really do look like Ice Spice. And she like dancing, she moving her head, and she doing all this. It, somebody better get North. Somebody better get her, because North, be for real. <laughs> I can only imagine what Kim has to deal with over there. Now, yes, the lyrics have a few inappropriate um, lines in the song, but when those parts came up, you know, she did a good job of not saying those words. She she didn't mouth, you know, those those parts, the explicit parts, you know? So she understands, she gets it. Now, sometime last year, Kanye West shared his sentiments on his daughter being exposed to TikTok. And his video started to recirculate again this year over the internet. Um, due to North's TikTok. I just got off the phone with Kim. I told her to stop antagonizing me with this TikTok thing. I said, it's never again. I am her father. I know y'all don't respect fathers and the idea of family and media tries to promote something. I said, I am not allowing my daughter to be used by TikTok, to be used by Disney. Uh, I have a say so. 
The people who found North's TikTok inappropriate sided with Kanye's comments. One person tweeted Kanye was right, there's no way a nine year old should be idolizing Ice Spice and listening to her music about twerking and having sex with men. Kim is a terrible parent. Although there were lots of tweets that agreed that North's video was inappropriate, there were some who felt otherwise. One person tweeted, seeing people upset that Northwest knows who Ice Spice is and is listening to that music at that age is kind of funny because when I was her age, I absolutely knew all 32 flavors of that bootylicious bubble gum. <laughs> Raspberry, grape cherry, boy, come and get you some. <laughs> but you know what? I agree, and I don't care. I do not care. We all were singing songs um, that we had no business singing as kids, okay? Because I know my iPod had Beyonce, Dance For You, Rihanna, Rude Boy, all of Nicki Minaj's songs. We we all were singing songs we had no business singing at, one up, at once upon a time. And it's not like we knew the actual meaning to it. No, we was just singing a song it was it was a bop <laughs> right now i want you to comment down below okay and tell me the song you used to sing that you really had no business singing as a kid <laughs> now as of recently the tiktok has been removed but she does share the tiktok account with her mom so it's being managed by an adult but in my opinion i think north is just having fun like all the rest of the kids these days who are on the internet and enjoying music and dancing in videos and then honestly let kim and yay just deal with that those are her parents okay but of course i want to hear your thoughts so let me know do you think um northwest tiktok video impersonating ice spice was inappropriate thank you for tuning into another episode of on the tl with me jake Tour, right here on the reese radio youtube channel make sure you follow me on all platforms and make sure you're subscribed as well and i'll see y'all in the next video